Pompeii was an ancient city located in what is now the commune of Pompeii near Naples in the Campania region of Italy. Do you know why is it still popular among people? What happened to that famous city? Watch this video till the end to learn more about Pompeii. Now before going into this video, I wanna thank you guys for getting this channel to 100 subscribers. Many of you may think why I'm telling about this as if it's a great achievement, dot but to me, it is. This is not my channel anymore, this is, our, channel. If you subscribe to this channel, you're a part of HME family. So if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon. Hope we can get to 1k subscribers soon. Now let's get into this video. Pompeii was a wealthy town, with many fine public buildings and luxurious private houses with lavish decorations, furnishings and works of art which were the main attractions for the early excavators. History of Pompeii. Early history. The first stable settlements on the site date back to the 8th century BC when the Oscans, a population of central Italy, founded five villages in the area. With the arrival of the Greeks in Campania from around 740 BC, Pompeii entered the orbit of the Hellenic people and the most important building of this period is the Doric Temple, built away from the center in what would later become the Triangular Forum. At the same time the cult of Apollo was introduced. Greek and Phoenician sailors used the location as a safe port. In the early 6th century BC, the settlement merged into a single community centered on the important crossroad between Cumi, Nola, and Stabii and was surrounded by a Tufa city wall. The first wall, which was also used as a base for the later wall, unusually enclosed a much greater area than the early town together with much agricultural land. That such an impressive wall was built at this time indicates that the settlement was already important and wealthy. The city began to flourish, and maritime trade started with the construction of a small port near the mouth of the river. By 524 BC, the Etruscans had arrived and settled in the area, including Pompeii, finding in the river Sarno a communication route between the sea and the interior. Like the Greeks, the Etruscans did not conquer the city militarily, but simply controlled it and Pompeii enjoyed a sort of autonomy. Pompeii became a member of the Etruscan League of Cities. In 474 BC, the Greek city of Cumi, allied with Syracuse, defeated the Etruscans at the Battle of Cumi and gained control of the area. The Samnite Period the period between about 450 to 375 BC witnessed large areas of the city being abandoned. The Samnites, people from the areas of Abruzzo and Molise, and allies of the Romans, conquered Greek Cumi between 423 and 420 BC and it is likely that all the surrounding territory, including Pompeii, was already conquered around 424 BC. The new rulers gradually imposed their architecture and enlarged the town. From 343 to 341 BC in the Samnite Wars, the first Roman army entered the Campanian plain bringing with it the customs and traditions of Rome, and in the Roman-Latin War from 340 BC the Samnites were faithful to Rome. Pompeii, although governed by the Samnites, entered the Roman orbit, to which it remained faithful even during the Third Samnite War and in the war against Pyrrhus. After the Samnite Wars from 290 BC, Pompeii was forced to accept the status of Soci of Rome, maintaining, however, linguistic and administrative autonomy. Despite the political uncertainty and the progressive migration of wealthy men to quieter cities in the eastern Mediterranean, Pompeii continued to flourish due to the production and trade of wine and oil with places like Provence and Spain, as well as to intensive agriculture on farms around the city. In the 2nd century BC, Pompeii enriched itself by taking part in Rome's conquest of the East as shown by a statue of Apollo in the Forum erected by Lucius Mummius in gratitude for their support in the sack of Corinth and the Eastern campaigns. These riches enabled Pompeii to bloom and expand to its ultimate limits. 
The forum and many public and private buildings of high architectural quality were built. The Roman period. Pompeii was one of the towns of Campania that rebelled against Rome in the social wars and in 89 BC it was besieged by Sulla, who targeted the strategically vulnerable Porta Urcolano with his artillery as can still be seen by the impact craters of thousands of ballista shots in the walls. Many nearby buildings inside the walls were also destroyed. Although the battle-hardened troops of the Social League, headed by Lucius Cluentius, helped in resisting the Romans, Pompeii was forced to surrender after the conquest of Noa. The result was that Pompeii became a Roman colony with the name of Colonia Cornelia Venaria Pompeianorum. Many of Sulla's veterans were given land and property in and around the city, while many of those who opposed Rome were dispossessed of their property. Despite this, the Pompeians were granted Roman citizenship and they were quickly assimilated into the Roman world. The main language in the city became Latin, and many of Pompeii's old aristocratic families Latinized their names as a sign of assimilation. The area around Pompeii became very prosperous due to the desirability of living on the Bay of Naples for rich Romans and due to the rich agricultural land. The city became an important passage for goods and many public buildings were built or refurbished and improved under the new order. These buildings raised the status of Pompeii as a cultural center in the region as it outshone its neighbors in the number of places for entertainment which significantly enhanced the social and economic development of the city. In AD 59, there was a serious riot and bloodshed in the amphitheater between Pompeians and Neucharians, which led the Roman Senate to send the Praetorian Guard to restore order and to ban further events for a period of ten years. AD 62-79. The inhabitants of Pompeii had long been used to minor earthquakes. Even the writer Pliny the Younger wrote that earth tremors were not particularly alarming because they are frequent in Campania, but on 5 February 62 AD, a severe earthquake did considerable damage around the bay, and particularly to Pompeii. It is believed that the earthquake would have registered between about 5 and 6 on the Richter magnitude scale. On that day in Pompeii, there were to be two sacrifices, as it was the anniversary of Augustus being named Father of the Nation, and also a feast day to honor the guardian spirits of the city. Chaos followed the earthquake, fires caused by oil lamps that had fallen during the quake added to the panic. The nearby cities of Herculaneum and Neucheria were also affected. In about 64, Nero and his wife Poppaea visited Pompeii and made gifts to the Temple of Venus which was the city's patron deity, probably when he performed in the Theatre of Naples. By 79, Pompeii had a population of 20,000, which had prospered from the region's renowned agricultural fertility and favorable location. Eruption of Vesuvius of the many eruptions of Mount Vesuvius, a major stratovolcano in southern Italy, the most famous is its eruption in 79 AD, which was one of the deadliest in European history. The eruption lasted for two days. The first phase was of pumice rain lasting about 18 hours, allowing most inhabitants to escape. That only approximately 1,150 bodies have so far been found on site seems to confirm this theory and most escapees probably managed to salvage some of their most valuable belongings. Many skeletons were found with jewelry, coins and silverware. At some time in the night or early the next day, pyroclastic flows began near the volcano, consisting of high-speed, dense, and very hot ash clouds, knocking down wholly or partly all structures in their path, incinerating or suffocating the remaining population and altering the landscape, including the coastline. By evening of the second day, the eruption was over, leaving only haze in the atmosphere through which the sun shone weakly. Pliny the Younger provided a first-hand account of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius from his position across the Bay of Naples at Mycenaeum but written 25 years after the event. Titus, the Roman emperor appointed two ex-consuls to organize a relief effort, while donating large amounts of money from the imperial treasury to aid the victims of the volcano. 
He visited Pompeii once after the eruption and again the following year but no work was done on recovery. Rediscovery and excavations. Soon after the burial of the city, survivors and possibly thieves came to salvage valuables, including the marble statues from the Forum and other precious materials from buildings. The robbers left traces of their passage, as in a house where modern archaeologists found a wall graffito saying, House Dug. Pompeii was buried under several feet of ashen rock. The ruins at Pompeii were first discovered late in the 16th century by the architect Domenico Fontana. Herculaneum was discovered in 1709, and systematic excavation began there in 1738. Objects buried beneath Pompeii were well preserved for almost 2,000 years as the lack of air and moisture allowed little to no deterioration. However, once exposed, Pompeii has been subject to both natural and man-made forces, which have rapidly increased deterioration. Furthermore, during World War II many buildings were badly damaged or destroyed by bombs dropped in several raids by the Allied forces. Owing to its wealth and its Greek, Etruscan and Roman history, Pompeii is of great interest for the study of Roman architecture in terms of building methods and urban planning. Pompeii has been a popular tourist destination for over 250 years. It was attracting almost 2.6 million visitors per year, making it one of the most popular tourist sites in Italy. It is part of a larger Vesuvius National Park and was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1997. Pompeii is still being excavated. Dario Franceschini, Italy's culture minister, said Pompeii continues to amaze us with its discoveries and it will do so for many years, with 20 hectares still to be dug up. What other historical and mythological stories you want me to make a video about? Comment down your thoughts. Tap the thumbs up icon and subscribe to this channel. It helps me so much. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.